this has been a tough one because I've been thinking about this for a couple of days now and I recognised why it's so tough to talk about. When you when you start looking at and remembering or when I start looking at and remembering the abuse, so much of it can be explained away. Like so much of it is so subtle. And it's really the little stuff that is really bad that really cuts deep for me. Uh, the big stuff, the big events that are really blatant, they're easy er to explain, and yet, even even when you start, or when I found found what I found when I started talking about it with people, they typically would respond, they're, they're looking for gaps, they're looking for things that don't make sense, and when your brain, or when my brain was so messed up, even though I was explaining something that was really bad, I might not have been explaining it particularly well. The, the subtle stuff, uh, the eye rolls, uh, actually, no, look, let's start with the dehumanisation. So dehumanisation is where um, uh, a person makes someone else feel less of a person or even not feel like they're a person. And how to, when I reflect back through the relationship, uh, this actually started quite early. And it was all around, it started with stuff like um, belittling or, or me being required to ignore my own emotional response to a situation. And, and all of the emotional response to the situation was around her. So I had to make my priority her emotional response to a situation. And an example of this, I, I've taken my boys for a walk. We'd gone to the park. We were on our way back. We were almost home. like We were like two houses down from home. And some idiot driving a car um, pops over the, the gutter and literally the house next to ours pops up onto the, the sidewalk. He gets his car stuck there, he, he can't move it, he gets out and runs, so he was probably drunk or high or something, I didn't want the cops to, and his girlfriend comes back to get the car. Anyway, so I'd almost been run over, and my kids were with me, and they'd almost been run over. So, understandably, I'm going to have an emotional response, I'm going to feel shock, I'm going to be worried, angry at this guy, upset all of these different emotions, and yet, when Amy, when she came out, she came out, and it was all about her. Her comment was, I almost became a widower, and without my children. And so I had to evacuate and abandon my emotional response to the situation. I was the one that almost got run over, and my kids... Like they were, they were so young at the time that it was probably not really a big issue for them. I don't know, because um, they would have been, they, they might not have even recognised the gravity of the situation is what I'm saying. And so I had to abandon my emotional response to the situation. Now, I, I didn't recognise that event until a long, long time after, because that, that actually happened quite early on in the relationship. The dehumanising towards the end uh, consisted of things like uh, we would be talking about something to happen around the house and I would say what I thought and without batting an eyelid, like, she would stop talking so it, she would be listening to what I said or at least allowing me, the <laughs> probably more of the case, allowing me the opportunity to talk and then completely ignore everything I've said and just go on with her own train of thought. And again, these things, they seem small and they can easily be explained away. You know, when a person gets wrapped up in their own ideas, they just want to keep on talking about their stuff. Yeah, I get that. When it's part of a, a process and when you see the pattern, it's dehumanising because it's saying... You're not even valid to talk. You're not even valid to be a part of this discussion. 
and uh, some of the more subtle dehumanising stuff, the facial expressions, the eye rolls, uh, the sighs, and then follow that up with, I'd ask, are you okay? Of course I am. Why would you ask such a thing? So there's there's a bit of gaslighting happening there as well. As um, I'd come home and I'd smile at her and I'd want to give her a hug and she'd go, like it was such a drama. Um, yeah. So it's, what I found was it's really hard to talk to people about the abuse because it's so subtle, because it's easy enough to explain any one instance away. It's the combination and the culmination of all of those experiences that really set me up for a really big fall. And so, yeah, that's, um, that's a bit of an intro to that. Take it easy. Peace.